Welcome Libra. Okay, so we're going to look at what is going on for you, okay, and what it is you need to do over the next two weeks. All right, we're using Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards. Also the Grace Cards. And Osho Zen Tarot. I do apologize for the noise of power tools that you might be hearing during this video. Sort of out of my control, really. Okay, so oh, let's get into it, Libra. Give these a quick shuffle. Libra, if you have not checked out your um, activation yet, go and do that, okay? And I will link it to the end of the video as well for you. Okay, so I'll give these ones a quick shuffle too. Alrighty, let's get started. Those there, what have we got here? The big picture. The big picture. Okay, Libra. Oh, I just saw one eleven on the timer. Anyway, okay, the big picture. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if it's the case for you, Libra, that you have been doing this or whether it's necessary for you to do this, but I do want to say to take a step back. Um, actually, I want to say take 10 steps back, if you like, okay, because it's, it's a matter of needing to, to see the big picture of whatever it is going on in your life. It, it feels to me, Libra, as though... There could be something going on in your life, right, that is is a blessing, but it doesn't feel like it to you for some reason. It feels like it's actually potentially hindering you somewhat, but there's a lot more to the picture than what you can see. So it's almost um, but like the case of needing to step back, like I say, 10 paces, to see the bigger picture. And even then, you may not get a clear view because you know how it is, Libra, when you're in it, it's harder to see things for how they are. And when it's someone else and you're out, you're on the outside, it's easier to see what's going on. Okay, so maybe that's the thing, Libra, and maybe that's what you need to do is actually imagine, you know, whatever is going on for you, imagine someone telling it to you and then you looking at it from another perspective from the outside to see what is going on. Okay, so we have suppression and sharing. Wow, okay. <laughs> Two contrasting cards if I ever seen them. <laughs> suppression and share. Well, okay. Although I do have to say here, Libra, is that... Um, I, I I feel like for some of you, Libra, it's really important for you to be sh sharing how it is that you're feeling, okay, rather than suppressing it, because that's just going to end up weighing you down, okay? Um, I feel like sharing is going to be more um, lucrative, and I feel like will be a lot more, well, it will help you grow more, okay, and It's sort of like, Libra, if you if there are things that you are suppressing or things that um, maybe are too uncomfortable for you to share, um, that I don't feel like whatever it is that you're trying to grow is going to grow with the same velocity as what it would if you were to open up and share, okay? And this could even be sharing what it is that you're working on. It could be sharing the produce that is coming out to be harvested. Um, yeah, I just wonder if some of you are sort of working 
behind the scenes in secret almost and um and it's almost as though it's working against you rather than for you but your reasoning for doing that is quite acceptable but it's not actually helping you and maybe this is your comfort zone which is why you're not sharing you know maybe it's just easier for you to stay sort of in the realm of this comfort zone rather than stepping out into the the vastness of the universe um, because you don't have the same feeling of comfort there even though you know okay so here's a question for you Libra if you fully believe that the universe has your back then why would you not step out of your comfort zone if that's your true belief? So that's something you could look at and see, hmm, why won't I then? Okay, so perfect setting. Okay, so maybe for some of you, Libra, you are waiting for the perfect setting. You're waiting for things to be just right and just the perfect moment. And I just need to do this a little bit more and this a little bit more. And then it will be perfect. There is no such thing as perfect. Nothing will ever seem perfect per se. And if that is something that is um, quite dominant in your life, then it's very important to see what the perfectionism is actually hiding because there's a whole lot more surrounding perfectionism than maybe what you realise. Um what is it within you that requires that to be the case, Libra? Okay, we have the rebel and we have trust. Yes, see, this is what I was saying before, but let's start with the rebel. Okay, um, breaking from these chains, and I feel like breaking from these chains, I feel like, Libra, this is um, sort of breaking out of this, this um, well, I wouldn't say it's a habit because I feel like it's more a protection, but this... Um, need for perfectionism is actually causing you to become chained up, if you like, okay? And it's not allowing you to be authentic because everything has to be working a certain way or it has to look a certain way or appear a certain way, which is not authentic. Okay, that's, that's set up to appear like that or to be presented like that it's not its authentic nature okay but with the rebel what's happening here is the rebel isn't breaking out of these chains in the sense of being rebellious the rebel is breaking out of these chains because the chains hold the rebel back from being his authentic self Okay, there's quite a big difference there. Okay. And I also feel like that this is important for you, Libra, to... Um, I want to say that it's like there's a cycle that you are stuck in. Um, and each, each of these chains here represent... A cycle but it's the same cycle over and over and over again and it's just interlinked into one another so it's like there's a cycle that goes on in your life and maybe it's to do with this perfectionism that um that needs to be broken okay trust and this is all to do with trust I feel I wonder if with the perfect setting this is about the lack of trust this is about you feeling confident enough to to bring forth what it is that you are creating um, this is very interesting everything's just gone completely from me everything that was coming through it's just stopped that's interesting I wonder why Let's have a look at the next card here, though. I feel like it's significant to this reading, but I'm not sure why it's like. 
maybe that's what you're afraid of, you know, maybe you're afraid of everything being taken from you. Maybe there was a time in your life where you didn't make sure everything was perfect and you didn't make sure it was the right time and it got taken from you. And maybe this is why you're spending the time now to make sure that everything is pristinely perfect in your mind, in your mind, right? Bountiful harvest. I love this card. I love this card. Look at this. This is sort of like, this is the beginning of the growth here, right? And this is what the harvest is. Wow, we look at that. Isn't that incredible? Wow. And the thing is that if you look at this, comp this picture in comparison to this, this is... This is incredible in its own right, okay? You, you could look at this and say that it doesn't make sense. There's no structure to it compared to this picture, okay? But it's just as um, full of art as this picture is, okay? So, wow, bountiful harvest. Let me have a look into this more because I know that this is starting here. This is definitely starting here. So this bit could be something, these are my cards, I'm getting all over the shop. This could be something that you've started and it's ready to sort of be um, harvested. Or maybe it's ready to harvest, Libra, but it's sort of like you're kind of going, um, you know, this is maybe the part of the journey where you're scared to step out because it is ready but you're scared so it's like no 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 not yet I just need to fix this up and I need to fix that up type of thing right um conditioning flipped over here um and you're not going to do that until you are fully confident that um three cards that's not what we need um yeah, the, you know, it's never going to be enough, Libra. It's never going to be enough because, you know, always stepping out of our comfort zone is uncomfortable and it's never going to feel safe and it's always going to feel oh, pretty scary, okay? Um, so you're never going to feel that level of comfort the same as what you do when you're in your comfort zone, okay? So I, I kind of feel like it's almost a matter of you just needing a push <laughs> to go over that line type of thing because you're holding yourself back, man. You are totally holding yourself back. Um, and this is what I feel this conditioning card is about because you're not a sheep, Libra. You are the lion. And, um, <laughs> and I think the thing is that you've discovered this. You've discovered you're the lion, but now it's like, I don't want to be different. I don't want to stand out from the crowd. I want to be the sheep. Like, you know, part of you wants it and yet part of you doesn't as well because of the fear that surrounds that. So, but in saying that, Libra, I feel like embracing who you truly are, which is you being part of this universe, okay? When I was talking before about the universe, you know, you thinking the universe will support you, but then not having this trust, okay? What it is, Libra, is you not trusting yourself, ultimately. That's what it's about. You not trusting yourself. This feeling of vulnerability is so scary for some of you that you just don't want to, um, you, you would rather hide yourself away than to feel that and, and put yourself at risk. But Libra, there's never going to be any growth for you if you allow that to happen, okay? We now have heighten your vitality. Wow, this is neat. I've never had this card pop up before. And look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Heighten your vitality. And you see, Libra, what I'm really getting from this is we now have... Okay, so we have these two here with 
this world here and this world here, okay? The thing is that we see the beginning of the rainbow here and then it's a lot more plentiful in this card here. And now it is bursting out from the actual earth. It's not just, it's not separate from the earth anymore. It's now become part of the earth, okay? And so I feel like, Libra, that what will happen with you stepping out of this comfort zone is it's going to help you actually understand your role in the universe or not your role necessarily but your how do I put it I can see it it's trying to put it into words There are no words. This is the problem. Um, it's like there's... It's like you, Libra, along with everyone else here. You, you're, you're existing on the earth plane. But you're not just an existence, you are the existence, okay? It's not like you've been put here to exist. It's like you've been put here for the existence to exist through you. I hope that makes sense. I can't bring it out any other way. There's no other way to bring it out of my mind into words. <laughs> Sorry, Libra, it's so hard sometimes. And um, and I feel as though with you stepping out, that it's sort of going to be like you, you step out with whatever it is that you have to present as it is because it is already perfect, okay? It was never imperfect to begin with. It's already perfect, okay? And you step out with that, and as you do that, suddenly everything drops into place, and it all makes sense, and you can see it for how it is. You can see it for what it is, and you can see your role. You can see your role in the bigger picture. Yeah, it's almost like you get shown. It's sort of like you get shown the purpose of everything, in your life, and not just in your life, Libra, but in everybody's lives. It's like you get this insight that it's sort of like knowing, you know, like you, it's kind of like Libra, you have the knowledge, but then you get shown that knowledge as to how it really played out, and then you truly understand how it all works. Yeah. Okay, we have the Ten of Harmony here and the Source, okay? <laughs> I love this. I love this, Libra, because I feel like what you're heading into, and this is where maybe, I can't remember what your activation was, but go and do that, and there's extra ones there, and if there's other activations that you feel drawn to, Libra, go and do them, because this could very well help, well help you step into this this um this presence because it's like there's this presence it's sort of like touching something and then channeling all the information from that object and and in this case what's happening is you're actually touching the world like holding the world in your hand and it's it's almost like you're getting all the information from the world downloaded. And from that, it will answer everything that you've ever questioned and bring, it's, it's like it will bring all that into, you'll get all the answers that you've ever wanted but the fact of the matter is, Libra, that there's actually only one answer that you need that will answer all of the questions that you have. 
okay but this connection with the mind and the heart because you will know in your heart of hearts that the information that you're getting is right and it resonates with you on such a level that you will never question it okay and um and this is going to come straight from the source i feel which honestly is really what you should be tapping into anyhow um but yeah This is super interesting. Be gentle with yourself. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Libra, I feel like um, it could be the case for some of you that you um, maybe... Sometimes expect something really massive to happen with fireworks and everything when real obvious but it's not always so obvious okay and it could be the smallest of things that are happening little bit by little bit by little bit and um and it's kind of like just it's only a matter of piecing them together to see how it all works as a whole so i would advise you libra to start noting things down be it synchronicities signs um any questions that you have and then you get an answer to it, write it all down, okay? Because what will happen is over time, you'll collate all this information and you'll start to read it um, from an outside point of view, okay? And you'll start to see how it all links in. And if there's been any other writings that you have done in the past, go back and revisit those, okay? Because there might be answers there that... Um, that you know for questions that you are currently seeking you just don't realize that it's already come through okay so um with the also being gentle with yourself i feel like um for some of you it could be that there's an expectation expectation might be too much of a heavy word more like a um a want for something significant to come through that will say change the world um and i want you to know that everything that does come through is significant okay it's really the ego coming in to play to say oh what's that <laughs> you know what's that gonna do um so just be aware of that ego playing little mind games with you okay so yeah um what have we got for being gentle with yourself Two cards here, the creator, and what's this card? Exhaustion. Okay, so not running yourself ragged, not overworking things um, to try and get this perfect setting, okay? Making sure that you place yourself, okay? Because the creator, I love this, the creator and the source, oh my gosh, the creator isn't going to, is never going to end up like this for a start, okay? And the fact of the matter is because you are part of, of the existence you are the existence okay if if this is sort of um a energy that you are getting yourself to this point of being so utterly exhausted you can barely keep your eyes open and you need matchsticks to hold them open okay that um that just be aware that you know maybe visit the fact that you're not really tapping into the source okay you're not tapping into the creator of who you truly are okay um because this and and it's even even the expression on her face okay this is this is not the result of someone who is um tapping into that higher source okay this is the result of someone who is working from their ego all right and that is not going to serve you we have infinite blessings at the end here i love this yeah i just want to go back to the whole ego thing for a minute this is not a criticism this is not to say that you are bad and you're wrong and don't deal with your ego ever again okay your ego is there for a purpose and it is there to serve you and um and that's okay i would just sit down and talk to your ego and assure it that you appreciate it being there you have nothing against it but in this part of your life 
you've got this. And if you need your ego, you'll call on it. Just let it know that it's not being discarded, okay? It doesn't want to be rejected. It doesn't want to be cast out. And that's sometimes why it plays up even more, because it's afraid that that's going to happen. So just sort of maybe have that little chat with it, okay? Um, and with this Infinite Blessings card, boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is so cool. Um, I love this. We've got abundance and intensity here. This intensity of abundance. <laughs> love it. Um, yeah, I kind of, you know what? I feel like this is what, This is what is there for you right now, Libra, okay? It's actually just getting into the energy to receive it, to be honest with you, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you, there's there's some sort of intensity which is maybe keeping this away, all right? Um, when they're placed down here, it looks like this. So this intensity is heading towards the abundance, I'm getting a couple of things with that. It could either be that the abundance is so abundant that it's intense. But what I'm really feeling from it, Libra, is that this intensity can boost through the abundance um, because it's such a, a chaotic energy that um, it, it can interrupt. It can interrupt that, that infinite blessing, if you like. So just be aware of that, okay? Because I do feel like this come, the intensity comes from this perfect setting here, okay? Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Let's have a look at the grace cards now and see what other information they have for you today. Let's, we've got presents. Beautiful. Yeah, I love this. Okay, two more cards to Libra. Or should we just read this one first? Yes, we shall. Presence. Bring your mind into present moment time. Now is the only place to be. Yes, and you see, Libra, this is the whole point, right? This is where ego comes in. This is where this feeling of, oh, I'm not ready. It's been the present moment, you know, because always when we're feeling like that, it's because we are, we have put ourselves into a future moment or a future situation, which hasn't happened yet, okay? And it scares the living daylights out of us. Instead of just being in the now and going, do you know what? I'm, I'm sweet as right now. I'm okay. I don't need to worry about that. All right, so we have two more cards here. First one is faith. Have faith. Can you see that? All right. Oh, yeah. Um, every event we experience and every person we meet has been put in our path for a reason. Yes, Libra, yes. Okay, and that might be people that you don't particularly want to deal with. Okay, or an experience that you don't want to have but it has been put in our path for a reason, okay? And, and, and this is the thing, right? You may not see why yet, okay? It's not clear to you, but just trust, okay? And have faith that it's all working out as it needs to, all right? Devotion. Devotion. Stay connected to the divine, Pray, express your gratitude, or ask for help out loud. Make the practice of devotion a daily habit. This is absolutely beautiful way to finish this reading off, Libra. Yep, so make sure that you ask, are asking for that help, okay? Um, and know, know, Libra, that whatever you do, you are supported, all right? This is what free will is all about being supported regardless of whatever it is you choose to do. Okay, Libra, I hope that has helped you. Please comment below and let us know what your situation is and how it applies, okay? And come back over the next two weeks, Libra, because right now this might not make sense to you, but in a week or, you know, whatever, 
it may it may be like oh my gosh this is so right so yes um see how it applies and check out your uh, rising and your your moon placements and venus as well okay just just get an overall picture there okay libra i shall leave that with you see you bye bye